Hi everybody, welcome to a Cricut tutorial. Today I am going to teach you all how to cut out a multicolored vinyl project um, that you can either layer as a car decal or something on a mug. Lots of fun things. Um, but this we're going to use just an image we found off Google. Um, I decided to use a fox. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click upload and upload image because I've already found the picture that I want to use. Um, so I'm just going to go in here and find my cute little fox. Um, now based on his coloring, I'm going to make him complex because he's got several colors. And I think that if I made him simple, it would make all of this tannish white go away. And we don't want that. So our next step is just click continue. And then we just choose whichever picture or whichever color we want to keep first. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the black first. So I want to get rid of all the oranges and all the tans. So that should just leave us with mouth, nose, eyes, ears, and feet. Now you can see that because of the type of file we used, we just picked one off Google, there are some messy parts. It's going to happen, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. Come over here to where your eraser tools are. You've got crop, erase, and select and erase. We want the little eraser right here because it gives us the little bubble. For this project, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so that I can get a closer look at where we need to erase. So we need to erase the little dots by his ears. If we don't, it will try to cut that and it would just be a mess. Now it's okay that we have like these little dots. They're going to blend and it won't matter. We're going to get rid of the dots by his nose. Because we won't need those. We're going to get rid of the parts that were his little tummy. And then we're going to come in here and make this guy really little is we need to get rid of that little dot and this little dot in between his feet. And then there's a little bit from where his tail was. So we're gonna go ahead and clean that up. I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and click continue and you're gonna see you have your little fox. Now, if you notice, and I did this so that you guys could see, that when you look at your cut file, which is always this grayed out one, you can see where you may have missed a spot. I can see that there's a little spot by the nose that I missed. In this case, I'm just gonna hit back. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in real close on his little nose, and I'm gonna take a look. And I do see a little piece right there that we missed. So we're just gonna clean that up. Click continue again, and he's good. So the one thing you wanna make sure that you always do, and I see a lot of people that don't do it, is you wanna make sure that you do save it as a cut file. Cut file is gonna be on your right-hand side, and it's going to be gray. Now, I name my image for this. I'm gonna call him Fox. Now that we've saved our Fox as Fox B, so that we know that he's Fox Black, we're gonna go back in and upload the Fox one more time. Here he is. And we're going to go ahead and select complex again. Continue. And this time I think I'll get rid of anything that isn't tan. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of the black and the orange. Now again, it's going to give us those little lines and we want to make sure that we do erase them. Um, I'm going to zoom in a bunch just because these are a little bit close to his ears and I'm just going to go ahead and pop those off. And I'm going to use again that little magic eraser circle. It's just really easy to use. You can get close to things. You can contour around things. Now you'll see that you do have an outline around his nose and around his cheeks and around his mouth. None of that will matter once we're ready to cut because it won't matter if it's just a little jagged and these little dots shouldn't make it jagged at all. Again, make sure you do save as a cut file. That's going to be on your right hand side. And this one we're going to save as Fox T for tan. We're going to upload the fox one final time because he is three colors, so you'll need to do it one time for each color. We're going to do complex again, continue, and this time we're going to keep his orange. So we're going to get rid of everything that isn't orange. Get rid of his eyes, his nose, 
his little mouth. I'm going to get rid of the tan and then his little feet. Again, go back in with that eraser tool. We're going to zoom in again because these ears are a little bit close to his head. And we're just going to erase around them and erase around them. Going to erase around his nose. Same deal. Just make sure you get rid of that. And notice that we're not erasing around his feet because none of this is going to show. Go ahead and click continue. We're going to save him as Fox O. Click save. And now we get to insert all of our images. So you'll see that you do have your Fox orange, your Fox tan, and your Fox black. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the black Fox, insert the image. Go back to upload. Click here on Fox tan. Insert that image. We're going to go back one more time to upload. Click on Fox Orange and insert Fox Orange. Now what I like to do as a visual for myself, and I think it does help when you're lining them up, is I'm going to go ahead and select each one's color. So we have Fox O here. You can see there's his little body. It's set to cut, and this is where you can change your color. I'm going to go ahead and change him to orange. We're going to leave the black as he is in black, and we're going to just go ahead and change the Fox Tan to cream. Just makes it a little bit easier when you're looking at them and lining them up. You do not have to line them up. I like to just because it gives me a nice visual and it makes sure that it's it's what I want to make. Sometimes you got to play with it a little bit to get it right where you want it. Um, that's good enough for now. It's not quite perfect, but I think it'll, if I maybe move the orange rips. All right, that's good enough. So to resize it, all I do is select all of my parts. So you're gonna like, you're gonna go ahead and uh, left click, select everything, and you'll see that it gives you this nice select. And you're just gonna resize them. I'm gonna make them, I don't know, about four-ish. We'll go with that. That's pretty good size. Again, it does not matter that he is not perfectly lined up. It won't matter in the end when we go to make it. So I'm gonna click make it, and it's gonna show me each of my mats. It's got my, my black eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and feet. It's going to have the main part of his belly, his tail, and his head. And then our third mat is going to show us our tan or cream in this case. Make sure when you do um, load your mats, you put your vinyl on your mats, you do it in the correct order. And that when you go click continue, that you are on the correct color mat when you go to start. Um, I'm going to show you guys get cutting, and then I'll show you assembly and application. Okay, we're ready to cut out our fox. We've loaded our vinyl onto our mat for our first part, which is going to be the black. We're just going to load our mat. Click the little cricket, and it's going to go ahead and cut out his eyes, nose, mouth, feet. I preloaded um, my other mat, my orange. I'm going to just use my light stick mat because I it sticks enough that it'll work. It's pretty new, so it's not so bad. So we're going to go ahead and load the orange one next. It's going to do the same thing. You're just going to click load. You're going to click the C, and it'll start. While that's doing that, I'm going to take the black vinyl off of my other mat and go ahead and put my tan vinyl onto the green mat. Now some people who have more than one mat, it's not a big deal to switch mats or to have all their mats preloaded. I only have these ones, so it's what we're working with. You can see I could have set it to also cut faster. That's one of the nice things about the Explore Air 2 versus just the Explore Air. But I like to cut my vinyl on just a regular speed because I'm afraid it's going to rip because sometimes it does. And then we're just going to load our tan. And we're just going to again hit the cricket button. And it's just going to cut out the little tan pieces. Okay, we are ready to weed. I've cut all my projects out real close to them so that I can save some of my vinyl. I just simply start in a corner. And these ones are really pretty simple. There's not a lot of deep detail. 
and I just peel away the excess, making sure that all the parts that I need to stay do stay. Um, it can help to sometimes to have your picture up of whatever you are making so that you can see what you need to weed out and what you don't. Um, I'm going to do the tan next, which has the little ears, so we want to make sure that we're watching and making sure that those ears come off really nice and simple. This is a 651 vinyl, so it is permanent, so we could use this on just about anything we want. Um, now this one we do have the little mouth that it did cut out, so I'm going to use my Cricut um, little hook tool, and I'm just going to go in here and find the edge of the mouth, and I'm just going to go ahead and peel that right out. Um, I tend to keep my sticky side of my vinyl, my used vinyl up, and I usually will just stick it to my pants a little bit on the edges. It helps when you're getting out the little teeny parts, you can just stick your hook right to them, and it's super easy to get them off. This one's going to be a little bit more detailed because we've got the mouth and the eyes, but usually I don't have too many problems unless I'm cutting really, really skinny letters. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and start that corner. And I'm just going to peel up off of his little ears. I'm going to make sure his little eyes stay. Cute little nose, his mouth. And then we're just going to scroll all the way down here to his little feet. So there is our fox. Now, the fun part, we get to put them together. Now, there are a di couple different ways that you can do this. You could either layer him on the project that you're going to put him on. But for him, I'm going to actually, I think, put him on my Cricut. So I don't want to try to put him on there because it would be kind of hard to line him up. So I'm going to use, I use this cheap contact paper. It's from the Dollar Tree, but I think Walmart also sells a version that a lot of people like. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel that off. The nice thing with this is, unlike some of the other contact papers and the transfer papers, it's not very heavy. And it's not very sticky. So when you go to do just a small item, it sticks really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and stick my little fox face. And I'm going to use my Cricut press tool. And I'm just going to make sure that I press down on all my little fox features. The reason I chose the black first is because this is going to be the top layer since those eyes are on there and the mouth. I feel like that's just the stuff that's going to easily sit on top of everything else. So he's going to be our top layer. You can layer however you would like, but you see how nicely this transfer tape um, works versus some of the stickier ones. Next layer I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the tan. And I did actually just realize I forgot to take his little eyes out of the orange. I don't know what I was thinking. So let's go ahead and get the eyes out of the orange really quick. Just like the same thing. Just go ahead and peel that. Stick it to your sticky stuff. Peel his other little eye, and off it comes, maybe, yep, there it is. I do tend to lose the little pieces sometimes, they stick to everything. So, now that we've gotten his eyes out, we are going to go ahead and do the, um, the tan next, I think. This is where it's kind of personal preference. Um, I feel like the orange actually might be easier to do next because of the eyes and the nose. This only gives me the ears and the mouth to work with. I think with this one I can probably just do the nose and the eyes a little bit better um, and line them up. This part is not so fun. It is definitely takes some practice and um, some skills. Just keep trying. Um, a lot of times I say start with like a really easy one. Just something really simple that you can easily see. I would not recommend trying to do a layer project like this if you don't have clear transfer tape. Um, he's going to be a little bit off, but I'm actually kind of okay with that. Um, because if you don't have clear, you won't be able to see what you're, you know, lining up or pressing him to. So here we have this little piece. He is a little bit off, but you really can't tell. Um, Again, it is just a practice thing. It, it, it's not always a science right off the bat. So don't worry if it's not perfect. I promise you no one is going to notice or care other than you. Now, I had to repress him because this little corner didn't want to stay, which is fine. It happens sometimes. Like I said, just with all of them, you just want to make sure you're getting all your pieces, parts every time you peel. So now we're going to move on to tan. 
Now as you can see I layered from top to bottom. So we're going to go ahead and line the tan up best we can. Um, for this one I might need to scoot them over into the light just a little bit more. Um, I'm going to try my best. I make absolutely no promises that this is going to be perfect. But we're going to... And that was not even close. <laughs> like I said guys, it's literally just a trial and error. And it's not always going to be 100% perfect. Because we are humans and that happens. <laughs> there is a lot of peeling and resticking when you do these projects and that is really very, very okay. Alright, I think that is actually really gosh darn close. Alright, so now we have our little box. Now, my transfer tape was a little too small. That's okay, especially since I'm going to be sticking him right away, except that I lost his little feet. I'm so sorry, little fox. I'll have to redo his little feeties on there, but that's okay, because I wasn't paying attention, and I should have done a better job at cutting my transfer tape. But that's okay, because when you do this, the nice thing is you can really, honestly, just peel his feet back off of whatever it's stuck to, as long as you're careful, and restick him. That's what I feel like a lot of these YouTube videos kind of miss. Is like if you make a mistake, it's really, it is really okay. It's not the end of the world. It is all fixable. See, all better. Okay, so now we have our fox. We're gonna go ahead and peel that because of the tan. We gotta peel off the transfer tape. Um, with this one, I don't want to stick them back down because my transfer tape wasn't great. Um, it kept peeling everything. So all I'm gonna do is like, see how this little tail still stuck? Just start it with your finger, and you can just move on and it's okay it won't it won't affect anything so here's our little fox and he's all ready to go and I'll show you guys how to apply him here in just a second so we are going to go ahead and apply him I'm going to go ahead and put him on my Cricut I thought he's really cute and he would make me giggle so all we have to do is just pick where we want to put him I think I like him kind of over here on this side that way if I maybe can do some more woodland creatures maybe I'll put a little squirrel or a raccoon so just press them down with your hand a little bit first. Now because my transfer tape was a little too small, I'm going to need to be really careful right here where it didn't quite reach his tail. So you just want to press with your scraper and you just want to make sure that you're pressing really good and especially on all these little bitty parts, his little ears, his little eyes, his nose, especially make sure you're getting around the edges and then get his mouth. Just press as all around him. And again, be very careful where you miss the transfer tape. Now you'll see, when we peel this, with any luck, everything should stick. Now I will say that with different uh, materials, you are going to probably struggle a little bit more getting things to stick. Some of the textured wood tiles, um, some of the tumblers are a little bit hard to stick. But on products like plastic, glass, um, things like that, they stick really well. So here is our little fox. He's all layered and done. And again, uh, you notice, not 100% perfect. It's okay. Do you like him? That's all that matters. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to make a layered vinyl and apply it. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me comments. If you guys make a layered project, please share them with me. I love to see that stuff. I love seeing everyone's crafts, and I hope you guys have a really good time.